I look like a, a polar bear in Alaska. Alaska pre-global warming. Hey guys, it's Gianna and today is my birthday! But one would think that today, on November 26th, I will go out and celebrate. Well, one would be wrong for thinking that. Because tomorrow I'm getting an endoscopy and a colonoscopy. Yes. But Gianna, what is an endoscopy and a colonoscopy? I don't know those words. This procedure allows doctors to take a first-hand look at your insides. I personally get put to sleep before this happens. I think getting put to sleep is optional. I don't know why anyone would want to be awake for this. It's a little baby baby camera attached to this wire. They put it down your esophagus and it goes into your stomach and then your small intestine. They just scope around there, that's the verb, to scope. They take pictures along the way. They legitimately see your intestine. What the doctor is seeing like on the screen while, while this tube is down your throat and in your intestines, it looks like a like a small canal. Honestly, this is what it looks like. Why do my hands look like a bowel? Oh. There's a separate tube that goes up your buttocks. That other tube that goes up there allows the doctors to see your large intestine. I hope I got that explanation correct. They're basically checking to see if you have any ulcers, any bleeding. Sometimes they'll take little biopsies. It looks like a claw. A little, little, little claw that just goes and like, boop, takes some of your intestines so they can send out a biopsy to test for other things. So that is what I'm getting on Wednesday. Today is Tuesday. That being said, I have to prep today. I made a video of the last time I did a colonoscopy and endoscopy prep, and I'm gonna be doing it again today on my birthday. In order for the doctors to get a clear look at your insides, you have to prep the day before, which means I will be taking various laxatives all throughout the day to clear out my system. I always say that the prep is worse than the actual procedure. This is my fourth or fifth procedure in this life. I typically get them routinely for my Crohn's just so they can see exactly what's going on. My last colonoscopy and endoscopy, the doctor said that I was technically in remission for my Crohn's. It was a really clear scope as opposed to years prior when my Crohn's was bad. I had all ulcers, like my insides, there was blood, like it looked really scary and not okay. Lately I've been having problems, Crohn's wise. I've just been having stomach aches, I've been hypersensitive to everything that I'm eating. I'm pretty sure it's just because I'm stressed because it's senior year of college, but we'll find out tomorrow exactly what in here looks like. Not only are we celebrating my birthday, but we're prepping for an endoscopy and colonoscopy. Let's get it. Usually I print out the prep sheet. They email you a nice prep sheet. It has all the instructions, but it's the 21st century, so I don't print things. I read them off my phone. It just tells you what to do one week before the procedure, three days before the procedure, two days, one day, then day of. It also tells you what to buy because you do need to pick up a couple things. These things being laxatives. We're focusing on one day before the procedure, which is today, because my procedure is tomorrow. Your child, aw, my mom used to do this with me. Now I do it alone, because I'm 22 and I'm old as Your child must follow a clear liquid diet for the entire day. No red liquids are allowed. The following are clear liquids, then it tells you. Step numero uno for prep. 
You have your lovely Dolcalax laxative. You can get this at your local CVS, Walgreens, maybe Target or something. This is a laxative. It's in pill form. Last night before bed, I took two of these because that's what my instruction manual said. And then it says, in the morning, give your child two Dolcalax tablets with an eight ounce glass of water. Dolcalax, water. You also don't have to chug an entire bottle of water. I just tend to do that. Cause I'm a thirsty ho! Huh? We're all set with these until later on tonight, right before I go to bed again. Obviously a laxative makes you go. I don't like Dolcalax. This whole process is just not fun. But happy birthday to me. It's time to mix. It's a little past 12 o'clock, I'm late per usual, but it's time to make our Miralax mixture. This is the mixture that you will be drinking throughout the entire day. Leia's FaceTiming me. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> now that I'm off FaceTime with Leia, it's 12.23, so now I'm 23 minutes late, but it's fine. To make your colonoscopy and endoscopy prep cocktail, you will need 238 grams of Miralax. This is also a laxative like the Dolcalax, but it's a powder instead of a pill. You will also need 64 ounces of any clear sports drink that's not red and also not water. You need to mix the Miralax powder with this. So what I like to do, I get a big empty container of some sort. It calls for one whole ass bottle. Okay. I will now take my lower sugar, uh, <laughs> Glacier Cherry Gatorade. It's a birthday drink with laxatives. Then you just give it a good shake. This is supposed to be me tonight at the club getting a drink, but instead I'll be on the toilet. You know what, at least my procedure is the day before Thanksgiving, so I'm gonna eat a lot. Yay, she's 22. Now that your mix is all mixed, Hi, can I get uh, a laxative on the rocks, please? In the instruction manual, it says to start at 12 p.m. and you have to drink this entire drink within six hours. That sounds like a challenge. Let's freaking go. Birthday, bitch! Let's go, let's go! Yeah. From here on out, every 15 to 20 minutes, you must drink one full glass of this mixture and finish within the six hours. Just to get it over with, I just like to chug one full glass. Boom. Miralax is supposed to be tasteless, but like, it's one of those things that you're drinking this and you're like, it tastes like Gatorade. But somebody put something in the, my drink. Did I say this in my last video, like these exact words? It's so weird. Like, it tastes like Powerade, but it's like, hmm, is it Powerade or is there something in there? I'm gonna set my timer for 20 minutes and that's when I'll have another glass. Thanks for coming to my birthday party, guys! Anyone want a drink? It's 1.20. I was supposed to drink this 20 minutes ago. This is usually how my preps go. It's not detrimental if you don't drink the freaking thing every 20 minutes. It's just, you gotta finish it within the six hours. I say do, do whatever you want, bro. And that's the laxative tea. I'm halfway through my second drink and I'm just feeling nauseated. I think it's because I'm hungry. Since you do have to follow a clear liquid di di diet, you obviously, can't eat, but I like to drink a lot of broth just cause it gives me that like savory, salty taste and makes my belly feel full. I'm gonna heat up some Trader Joe's 
chicken bone broth. Bone broth is said to have a lot of anti-inflammatory properties. I also like this because it has 26 grams of protein, so keeps my protein intake up while I'm not eating. And I officially hate the taste of this Gatorade already. So I'm having like some stomach cramps just from the overload of laxatives, obviously. Later. I'm just at the point where I'm over life. Every time I go to the bathroom, it's like nothing. <laughs> I'm water. Uh, I just like want to go to bed and I want tomorrow to be here so I can just get through it. And I'm hungry! Hey guys, it's me. Yeah, it, it's me, my sister, Jenna. She's right here next to me. Eliana, how do you feel that I have to drink all of this gross adult drink? It's really easy because you can drink lemonade and that's really good for your health. <laughs> Four minutes left to go. Yeah, you could do it. Can I have some magical powers so I can drink the rest of this? Okay, let me see. The lovely boom. You could do it, you could do it, you could do it. You did it! Thank you for supporting me. <laughs> Next order of business, because we're not done yet. Um, you gotta take two more Dolcalax with eight ounces of clear liquid. Then I can consume clear liquids all the way up until midnight. I'm gonna have some more broth and then go to bed. See you tomorrow. It's procedure day, baby. No more fluids at all, not even water. Current situation, pre-colonoscopy. Sister looks snatched as hell. Look at it, I have abs that I didn't even know about. Can't wait to eat fat pizza after. <laughs> Hi. Dad, what are yeah. you doing? I am trying to figure out what type of Celtics tickets I'm getting right now. Okay, cool. While well, you're doing that, I'm going to be waiting here for the doctor to call me in. I have to activate the other ones as well. I think they activate at the same time anyway. <laughs> Get you a friend that comes to your colonoscopies. Got my little IV. They took some labs. They're gonna put the good good medicine that makes me go sleep. What's the good good? Post procedure vibes. Got the pics of my colon. This is the first time I felt coherent after a procedure. In the past, I wake up and I'm like loopy and confused. But I'm feeling pretty coherent, just drowsy and starving. All in all, went well. Need to take my meds, because there was some situations going on, but 